Alrighty. Hello, hello. Alright, I'm going to be doing water signs. So we'll do Cancer, and then Scorpio, and then Pisces today. Alright, and I'm going to time stamp it so they will be time stamped when I'm done. Oh, well this is a video. I'm so used to going live and talking to the chat and saying what I'm going to do. And I, anyways. Alright, let me go ahead and pull. No, I won't. I need to time stamp it first. What am I doing? Alright, let me time stamp this. First up is going to be Cancer. All right, let's see, Cancer. Okay. Yeah, I haven't uploaded like these videos for a while. I've just been going live, so I forget. Okay, let's see. Okay, Chinese, Fortune Cookie, Oracle. And this is uh, a general reading for next week for you guys. Friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. All right. Friendship. Okay. Cancer. Let's see. For next week. And, you know, if you don't know, I'm going to, well, let me tell you. I am not Jesus. I am Jill. I say that because I'd like you guys to take tarot lightly, all right? Just take it as a little something extra. This is not like your main course. This is just like the appetizer or the dessert. It's not the main course, okay? <laughs> yes, I made that up. All right, let's see. Just looking at these cards, a little Virgo comes out. This is showing you guys being just like financially independent, successful. If you're not yet successful, you're going to be. But wow. Now, if you're saying, well, uh, that's not me. Okay, well, if that's not you, that's somebody around you. <laughs> it talks about this queen here, and it, it both there's a couple cards that talk about, like, the financial success. And it shows, like, through your own efforts. Um, it shows, like, out enjoying, like, you're out enjoying the fruits of your labors. And showing hard work that leads to a very nice life type thing. And some of you might be happily self-employed. And for those of you that have been wondering about being self-employed, you probably do well. It shows like you try new things. It shows um, travel. It shows exploration. If you hear that noise, so you hear that? That's my chair. In case you're wondering what that was. <laughs> it's the arm of the chair here. Let's see. This queen, if it's you, this is just talks about, okay, I don't know if it's you or someone around you, but it's somebody who likes to help other people. Somebody's accomplished, somebody who's sensitive to the needs of other people, hardworking, career woman, usually is who this queen is. But there's security, security, and abundance. I like that word, abundance, but showing here. And this is like out. Like I said, enjoying yourself, having a good time. There's, this is very happy. Card of happiness. Look at, I mean, all, the, like just having a good time with friends. It shows people are drawn to you. Some of you might appreciate the finer things in life. This is showing. And I don't know what you're uncertain about. It's kind of, I don't know if this is daydreaming or what, if you're being, it just the, uncertain about something. Um, but it shows a little bit of overanalyzing something here. And it shows needing to make a choice. I don't know if it's about different options, different opportunities, what it is. So you just need to make a choice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Scorpio next. All right, let's see. Okay. 
Okay. All right, Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for next week. And I'm going to start off with a Chinese fortune cookie oracle here. Opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. All right. And I'm not Jesus. I'm Jill. I've been nicknamed Jill Zus though. But um, I say that because uh, I'd like you guys to take tarot lightly. All right. Uh, just take it as a little something extra. If you guys wouldn't mind giving this a like and subscribing, I would really appreciate that. I've been forgetting to tell each sign their power color because I haven't uploaded the videos in a long time. I've just been going live. I forgot because I was like, how did I used to do this again? <laughs> Even though it wasn't that long ago. It, it just it feels like it was, but it wasn't that long ago at all. All right, let me see. Um, Scorpio. I have to remember. I'm gonna, okay, it's black. I remember Scorpio is black because I haven't done like the sign anyways I've done all signs but I don't go through and do their their anyways I don't even know what I'm trying to say hopefully you know what I'm saying okay let me see here speaking of Scorpio you you do come out here little Virgo also I'm just looking at these cards and something ends it, this is endings that lead to new beginnings now I mean this could be someone here trying to make a hard decision whether to stay or leave something also and I don't know for some of you you know if an ending already took place and this is talking about renewal change transformation clearing out the old Letting go of what no longer served you. It's just showing like a swift change in life. It does say take nothing for granted. Also, for a couple of you, it's the same to set aside things like anger, greed, lust, addiction, stuff like that. Set aside that in order to live free. Now, this queen is coming through, you know, and this is somebody who's generous. Somebody who is practical and somebody who is accomplished and I always say if not yet then is is working on on being accomplished type thing but someone who is hard working so this could be like say either you or someone around you and this also usually so usually with this card it, can, it talks about, like, I'm sorry, just one second. I, my, this is buzzing. I thought my phone just buzzed, but I'm actually using it right now to do this, so I can't, I guess can't really check it. But it, it's late at night right now, so that's why I'm like, who's trying to get a hold of me right now? But anyways, uh, don't worry about that. This queen right here, this is also about setting goals and working towards them. You know, one of the means here, it might, I don't know if you are selective in love or if it's saying maybe be selective in love. So if you're not selective, then it's telling you to maybe be, be like be more selective type thing in love or something. All right. You also have this feeling disappointed here. It shows you feeling let down or maybe having regrets. Some of you might even be focusing on the negative. Some of you guys, uh, this could be showing some depression. I don't know. I or I don't know. It's like these feelings of failure or something that are coming through for some of you. A lot of you guys, you feel like you lost in love because an ending did take place, and you. I don't know if you kind of feel like that was your perfect match type thing. 
if you don't feel like that was your perfect match, then your perfect match could be coming in for you. But if you do feel like that was, and that's just all this is talking about, is the, how you feel down and upset that an ending happened. But there is going to be some type of opportunities. Because th this usually talks about commitment. Almost like something ended and something new might be coming for you guys. Uh, it could be communication, but this talks about falling in love. Now, it can be for some the resurgence of a romantic relationship because it, it could be indicated. But um, for a lot of you guys, if the ending took place, like I said, and you felt like that was your person, you guys liked each other equally, that's it's just talking about that. I don't know why it's talking about that for next week, but it is. I think that the message here is to look for the hidden blessings. <laughs> And uh, it does say that things happen for a reason. And it does say you can turn things around. But look for the hidden blessings because they are there. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to Pisces. Okay, let's see. So this is going to be a general reading for you guys for next week. All right, Pisces. And uh, I'm going to start off with the Chinese fortune cookie oracle here. And my name is Jill. For those that don't know, not Jesus. All right. <laughs> I say that because I, I want you guys to take tarot lightly, please. I'm not Jesus. Okay. But I'll do my best. All right, let's see. To see what I can see for you guys. Twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. Oh my goodness, upheaval. All right. And if you guys don't mind giving us a like and subscribing, I would really appreciate that. All right, let's see. Pisces. For next week. Alright, so Aries energy comes out. So does a little uh, Taurus. Alright, now it just comes right off. You know, it does say the twists and turns, right? But it shows, I don't know if you guys are, are guarding, guarding what you have, protecting what you have. This could also be you being very guarded. And it could be a little defensive too. This could be saying protect what you have or stand up for yourself. Have confidence. Defend yourself. Okay, this could also talk about be selective in love. So it could be telling you that to be selective or it could be saying maybe you are selective. But if you're not that selective, it's saying, you know what? Be more selective in love. <laughs> so that's what it's telling you. And speaking of, you know, it talk, it's talking about here possibly some type of, uh, like being swept off your feet here, falling in love. It talks about intense emotional experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it can also be that you're inspired to take charge of your life. So it could be either or maybe it's both. But, you know, the romantic encounter thing, being swept off your feet. Or inspired to take charge of your life. There's
there's two kings sitting here. And so for some of you, okay, for some, this is the same sex relationship. Others of you, you're, you're dealing with two masculine energies. And it shows one being more the wealthy businessman type, one who is grounded, responsible, successful, accomplished, a little stubborn. The other one the other is inspiring and motivational, full of creative ideas, a natural born leader. Somebody could be a little rash and impulsive at times, a little controlling, but very wise. And uh, this could be seen here, you know, when, when these cards are coming out, by the way, I'm just looking at these cards to see if I can get more out of it. And it, it one of it means is like you have the energy and the experience to accomplish what you set out to achieve. And it's about like taking control of your life. And then, you know, the other card talked about being inspired to take charge of your life. And this one is about taking control of your life. So if you're, you must be taking control of your life right now. If you're not, the universe is, is like encouraging you <laughs> to take charge of your life type thing. That's a, you know how people are saying that now. So I'm, I'm trying to learn to say it instead of like, you should do this I encourage you <laughs> all right and then just to let you know one of these kings they do not like any type of neediness the type of person like they they like to have a space so just let you know that in case you need to know I don't know all right so hard work pays off all right already and we are done with water signs. Okay. And thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it very much. All right.